Hello and welcome to Moments with the Master. Today, the lectionary readings are Psalm 118, verses 1 and 2, and 14 through 24, Exodus chapter 15, verses 1 through 18, and Colossians 3, verses 12 through 17. This is a continuation of yesterday's thing about getting naked. So today we're going to talk about what should we be wearing? Well, let's take a look at Colossians chapter 3, starting in verse 12. It says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. So, Yesterday we talked about what we're supposed to take off as we become the image of God on this planet. Now, what do we put back on? Well, it gives us a list. It says, put on, wear, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other. Forgive each other. Remember that it is the actions of being like Christ that make us look like Christ. We can say all day long, if you look at any denomination generally, and you will see a list of their theological beliefs somewhere. They might have a catechism. They might have, like the Baptists have something called the Baptist faith and message. Um, They'll have something that says, this is what we believe. But believing something in your head is completely different than doing things with your life. Compassion is an action. It's treating somebody with, um, giving somebody what they don't deserve. Treating somebody, Jesus had compassion. Kindness, humility, gentleness, patience. And this is the thing. It's a process, right? Because what happens over time is that God will say, you know what, I think you need a new wardrobe. Here is some patience. And then he will give you an opportunity to practice patience and learn how to put that on. Hey, you need some new clothes. Here is compassion. And he will offer you an opportunity to be compassionate to somebody that you might not care for at all. And again, it's talking about the body of Christ. It says here that we are not to be, we're called to peace because we are members of one body. A body at war with itself has cancer. It is killing itself. And it's why so many churches around the, well, particularly in the United States, something like 400 churches a week close their doors because they're at war with themselves. They're at war with what God has called them to do. They are not at peace. They don't treat each other with compassion and kindness and humility and forgiveness. They don't put on love, which binds us together in unity. You know, there are people that I disagree with grossly. I'm in a family, and my siblings, I'm the oldest of five, and we have very different political views on various issues. But at the end of the day, we're one family. I know that they are followers of Jesus. They may disagree with me in a political situation, but we agree on what God is calling us to do. Now, it's easy to look at somebody that's different and point at them and say, I don't agree with you, therefore you must be not a part of the body of Christ. But is that really my call? See, this is the thing. God doesn't call me to dress other people. I'm not a clothier. I don't run a store to sell clothes to other Christians. 
I'm only responsible for dressing myself. So maybe we should be less worried about what other people are putting on, on what other people are doing. And maybe we should be more concerned about looking at our own lives and saying, hey, Josh, are you practicing compassion? Hey, Josh, are you practicing kindness? Hey, Josh, are you practicing humility and gentleness and patience? Hey, Josh, are you forgiving the people who have done you wrong? Whew, that's a hard one. Hey, Josh, are you putting love over everything else? And it ends, this passage, Paul ends with this thing. Whatever you do, whether in word or in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. So the next time you have an interaction, next time you decide to post a comment, you need to say to yourself, is this something that I can do in the name of Jesus? Next time you post something in your social media, is this something I can do in the name of Jesus? The next time you talk to somebody or treat somebody in a certain way, is this action something I can do in the name of Jesus? Because what God calls us to do more than anything is to reflect who he is, his goodness, his holiness, and to be his image bearers on this earth. May God richly bless you today as you go forth and put on the clothing of Christ.